All right, garage project number one. I gotta put a shelf up here. All right, so here's the deal. This is a thousand feet high, but I need more room for stuff. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a shelf up there all the way to the corner. The problem is I can't screw it into the wall anywhere here because I got the breaker box and there's this, this whole stud and this one really is filled with wires. That's all the wires for the garage. There's probably 30 of them in there. Um, so I'm going to stop screwing right about there and it's just going to free float and then I'll screw into the corner there. But the reason I need to go over here is for all my rakes and shovels and all that crap. So what I'm going to do is start with an eight footer, an eight foot two by four, screw it in the corner there and run it straight until wherever it ends. And then I'll measure whatever I need for the rest of it and then build a shelf off of that. All right, step one is pocket holes. That way, I can screw this thing into the corner easier. All right, you watch. This is where I die. You got this much shit in your garage. It's hard to do things. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, jeez. Let's go 41 and 3 eighths. Give me this. 41 and 3 eighths. Remember that. Because I'll forget by the time I get to the saw. I said 41 and 3 eighths, right? I hope so. Once, measure twice. That's how it goes, right? 41 and 3 eighths. All right, let's go see how bad I screwed this up. I know I'm going to be blocking the, the shot here. I guess I can move the camera. Let me move the camera. I don't know if that's any better. You're sitting on top of the gas can, so don't, don't smoke. But let's see. Well, why the hell is there a screw here? Son of a biscuit. Well, at least the length was right. Maybe. I gotta get a screwdriver. Hold on. What would you got? That was probably hanging something. Alright. I need my drill. some more on that one and then we gotta build the rest that should be super easy no problem how do I get down 
after much pondering on how to actually build this, I'm just going to come out uh, at 78 and a half inches to right there where those two screws are. So if I go an inch and a half further, go to 80 inches, and then come out, that'll give me a place to make a support that goes back to the wall so the thing doesn't fall. Um, so if I, the front will be 80 inches, and then I think I'm just going to come out like a foot from the wall because I don't, can't go any further that way. And that should be enough. I just, there's, I gotta put the chainsaw and this DeWalt leaf blower and some other junk up there. Not a whole lot, nothing real heavy, so it's not a big deal, but. Now I gotta do some math magicians, three inches minus 12, that'll be those, and then 80 inches for another two by four, divided by the square root of pi times something else, and, and some measurements and numbers. Shit, can you still see? Okay, yeah. Do something like that. Maybe. Maybe. Get in there. Come on. You know, make these things magnetic. And then just a bunch of crap sticks to the end of it, and you can't get it in a screw hole. Maybe. Okay. Let's try again. Yeah, right about there. people I don't like it a little bit of wiggle there I'll put another one here I was trying to save some screws because these things are Long and expensive. That's a little better. All right, now I got to measure 80 inches from there and put the other one. All right, let's try this. not working very well right there okay. that side right no that side inside the line Started before it gets too tight. Okay, not bad. Alright, I had an idea, you're probably just going to be staring at the back of my head, but since I can't hold both sides of this thing, the 80 inch 2 by 4 can go in the front of that, because my arms aren't that wide, I have a little plan here, let's see if it works. Set the 2x4 on there, maybe, and that'll help me 
Line it up. Etc. I had another screw. All right, let me look for new screws. Unfortunately, this is a right-handed board here, and I am not right-handed. The other screws I used were black, and these are not, and that will drive me freaking crazy. So, a sharpie. I probably should just change out the other screws because these are better anyway. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. That worked fine. All right, so the next thing, I need to put the angle piece here to support it. I mean, it's pretty strong, but I want to put something there just so it doesn't, uh, doesn't fall. That'll kind of defeat the purpose of a shell. So let's do some uh, math and magistry here. 12? Of course it's 12, that's what we made it. Alright, so what is it? Uh, A squared plus B squared, square root of C squared? Square root of C. Let's try that. A squared plus B squared equals a square root. Let's try. Okay, so I got the abacus. So it's 12, let's turn it on first. 12 squared plus 12 squared equals square root. 16.97, we'll call it 17. So, first thing we're gonna do is turn this pig to 45. That looks good. Something like that. Say 17. I don't figure it's right on this knot. Right on the knot. Right about there. there poop but and it's over 17 I don't know how that happened my measuring didn't work close enough all right let me find another one Pocket hole. Mm, let's go with this one. I don't know if that's really going to work. Pocket holes really aren't meant to be like that, but. Eh, fuck it, we'll try it. Alright, and this one goes like that. So, 
here, I guess. did some math wrong. Well, not wrong, but I screwed it up. I'll show you. So on this side, it's simple. Where I measured, it'll go from down here to the edge over here. However, on this side, if you remember, I moved it another inch and a half, and my thought was that the board, the support would go to the inside of this board. And if I do that, it won't have really, it'll only be supported on the 2x4 here instead of like the other one where it's along the whole length. So I, I think what's just going to happen, I'm going to move it up more um, and it's just going to be shorter. Like the bottom of this support won't match the bottom of this one. But whatever. It's my garage. Alright, let's see how this goes. put a screw in here and uh, that'll be good except it's one of them right-handed screws all right let me turn you around and show the problem on the other side here would be the ideal place, you know, in line flush with this, but then my screws down here will, won't be going into a stud, so it needs to go here. I wonder if I chop this, then I can move it up. Yeah, let's do that. Something like that, I guess. I don't freaking know. If I go to there, it's flush on the top. Yeah, let's just go there. screws that didn't work like I planned come on now oh those are gone those are gone forever son of a bitch I'll be back screws. Let's pilot hole this thing. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if I was right handed. Okay. Do we put another screw in there? I don't think so. One is good. Two is better. And the next step is to make the top. 
I really hate cutting like this, but no choice. This angle is terrible, but this is the length cut. Here. Unfortunately, my ladder is not well, it's tall enough, but I can't get it close enough to really put enough screws in this thing. Just have a few what I can reach comfortably without dying <laughs> or killing myself. Come on! Is that in all the way? I can't see. Yeah, Hold still, I gotta move the ladder. You can put a couple screws in while you're up there. It's gonna make me do everything. Okay, where'd that one go? There. Right. When we get 14 more, I'll be happy. That's it. Maybe. I'd really like to get a couple in the back there. Yeah, I'm calling it good. All right, so that's done. So get freed up a little bit of room. Now I gotta start working on the, over here is where I wanna hang the rakes and shovels and all the other yard crap. Um, yeah, give me a minute, let me try and figure something out. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. I take some boards like that, about yay far apart, screw them in from the back, and then screw this into that two before over there, and then I can hang the, you know, spread them out every four inches, six inches, or something like that, and whatever fits fits, and we'll make it work. I don't know, maybe. This is my setup here, so just put that there. And, uh, and cut. I gotta stop there so I don't have to keep measuring them. new plan this is called a French cleat and basically the back side of it is cut at a 45 degree 
and then those things hang inside there. So that's what I'm going to do over on the other side, um, but I got to cut those. So the first thing we got to do is get this at a 45 and I'm going to put it over here. Come on. Good enough. All right, so now the next thing, I gotta get the fence so it cuts off just enough to be 45. And I'm gonna guess it's about there. Let's make it two and a half just to be easy. All right. Let me get some uh, eye and ear protection. Safety stuff. Alright, activate your safety squits and plug your ears. Why didn't you tell me this was sitting up in the air like an asshole? Look at that. Damn near killed myself on that. Alright, one more again. All right, so this is what I came up with. You got your uh, angle of the dangle here, and that's where your tool will go. And then you got the angle here, that's already bolted up to the wall, and this just slides down, and it sits on there, and then this won't, won't fall. Let me stick it up there and we'll show you. Okay, so here's a contraption, stick it up there, and it, uh, it holds. So let me grab a shovel or something. All right, a little shovel, and we stick it up there. Like that. Huh? That's it. The only problem with these is they don't stay on. So if you kind of, oh geez, they don't stay on. So you can have that happen. Pretty easy. I might just screw it on there. All right, so I made five of these things. Let's um, let's see what happens. So if I die, I'll be on camera. Great. <laughs> I can't fit. Okay. Whatever. 